Think about it this way. Why would Netflix get into gaming if it was a dying industry? Hey, what's up? My name is Rishabh Savant. I'm not a financial advisor. I like talking about stocks for entertainment. Corsair Gaming is probably the most interesting play in the whole stock market right now. Remember guys, gaming was the past, the present and will definitely be the future. Gaming industry was red hot in terms of growth before pandemic and the pandemic has definitely accelerated the growth even further. The Corsair stock has solid fundamentals and a really good balance sheet. It's extremely undervalued right now with tremendous potential growth. The global gaming market is currently valued at $176 billion. It is expected to reach almost $300 billion in the next five years, making this one of the fastest growing markets out there with a CAGR of 10%. Let's get into the eight facts that are going to blow away your mind. Total outstanding shares is around 92.19 million and the price per share currently is $29.52. Multiply these two together, the total number of shares times the current price, you get the current market cap of $2.72 billion. Three analysts set a price target with an average of $50. Corsair ended 2020 with 170 million cash flow from operations, meaning they are no longer losing money. They experienced a 25.7% annual compounded growth rate from 2017 to 2020. Corsair made a $35 public offering in Jan 2021. The current price is only $29.52. Corsair Gaming smashed past three earnings estimates. $1.7 billion revenue in 2020 to a market cap of $2.72 billion represents a 1 is to 1.16 revenue to market cap ratio. Remember, the average S&P 500 price to sales ratio currently is 3.17. The guidance for 2021 increased from $1.8 billion to $1.95 billion. Well, there are two main reasons why Corsair stock is currently falling. First, we have the Eagle Tree situation. It's a big fund that is constantly unloading shares of this company. Eagle Tree Capital owns majority stake in Corsair Gaming. In July of 2017, it acquired a majority share in a deal valuing Corsair Gaming at $525 million. This put Eagle Tree Capital at about 92% ownership, holding 77.8 million shares at a price of $6.27 per share. Corsair stock today is at $30 and Eagle Tree bought it at $6 and if you were them, of course you would sell some at $30. Take note that Eagle Tree is an early stage investor and maybe they want to move that money to some of the new early stage companies that they have currently identified because that's what they do. It does not matter that Eagle Tree currently wants to sell some of their shares to realize some of those massive gains. They still want to be a majority shareholder of Corsair. So they are not unloading all the shares. Even if they want to sell a small portion of their holding due to the low float of Corsair's stock and of course the huge number of shares that uh, Eagle Tree owns, it prevents the Corsair stock price in the short term from going up. The second reason why Corsair stock is currently not going up is because many investors think that this is a stay at home play. Most people outside of gaming fail to realize how big of a driving force eSports is and will be globally. Not to mention AV, VR and streaming. With other stimuli such as 5G, cloud tech, establishing a whole new capable infrastructure, 
gaming is about to be launched into a growth phase like never seen before. Think about it this way. Why would Netflix get into gaming if it was a dying industry? New gamers and streamers are born every day. Old gamers are getting better gear and upgrading every few years. The pandemic just helped create new gamers. They will want to buy more and more gear. They will want to start streaming like their favorite streamers. It's only a matter of time before big money starts buying Corsair stock. I'm using this opportunity to build a sizable position and hold Corsair stock for the next three to five years. So that's it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.